Hello, in this video we're going to sh demonstrate how you can do advanced bank reconciliations with the ledger programs. Now in the ledger program there's two types of reconciliations. There's a very simple one that we illustrated in a different video on how to do the basic reconciliations. But then there's the advanced reconciliations for people who are bookkeepers or accountants or who want to do a more detailed bank reconciliation. So to do that, we first go to the setup screen, which is the screen we're in now. And in the setup screen, you'll notice an area of the screen where it says advanced reconciliations, which is optional. Enable detailed bank reconciliation feature with a question mark. And if the checkbox is checked, that means yes, you're turning it on. So in other words, to use this feature, you simply check that checkbox. Okay, and you're, you're done and ready to go. Now, at just above there, as soon as you turn that on, this column showed up next to your account names. So for each account name, you're going to have to tag it. Is it a cash account, a credit card account, or a bank account? Now cash you've already handled with the cash account name. So really, when you go through here, all the accounts should either be a credit card or a bank account. And the reason being is that when your balance goes up on a bank account, that means of course you've got more assets. And when your balance goes up on a credit card, you have fewer assets. In fact, you have more debt. So that's why we need to tag each of these items, either credit card or bank account. Okay, once you're done, you can just click save and your setup is complete. Now let's go to a month and do a few entries and, and reconcile them. So let's say we're in January. And, and the other thing that happens when you turn on the advanced reconciliation feature is just below the statements, this whole area suddenly appears, advanced reconciliations. And you can see all the accounts are listed in there. So let's do it. Let's work with our checking account. Now just when you want to do reconciliation with our checking account or any account you simply enter in your beginning balance. Let's say our beginning balance is $500 and we enter in our ending balance. So let's say our ending balance here was $1,000. Okay so we've taken that off of our paper statement. Our beginning and ending balances enter them in there and you do the same for every account that you're reconciling. It then automatically starts calculating the cleared balance, which is the difference between the beginning and the ending. You know, then we it'll calculate out how many entries we've done and which are reconciled. And then the difference, how far we're off in our reconciliation. Okay, so let's do a few entries just to demonstrate. So 11th of January, let's say we had, uh, we're working with our checking account and we have income. And we'll just skip the description. We're just going to put in $800 worth of income. Now, you notice that we just did the entry and so far it shows a deposit of $800 but it didn't sh make any difference to our reconciliation yet because we have to go to the left column and actually choose the X to reconcile and saying yeah we got our paper statement we see that entry on our paper statement and we click X to reconcile that entry and now you can see that it's affecting our cleared balance and our difference so right now, you know, our income, you know, our ending balance is a thousand, our cleared balance is thirteen hundred. So we're off by three hundred, of course, because you know we've got too much money based on our ending balance here in our in our cleared balance. So let's do an expense entry. We'll go to our checking account again. Let's say this time we have an automotive um, repair. And now let's say it's three hundred dollars. Okay, so we can see the expenditure of $300. Let's clear that entry or reconcile it by choosing the X. And now everything balances. You got your, you basically got your cleared balance of 1,000, which is equal to your ending balance. The difference is zero. That means we have $800 in deposits, $300 in expenditures. So really our account balance went up by $500, bringing us into perfect balance. So overall, the, the basic concept is, is that to do bank and reconciliations, just as a quick recap, you simply turn it on, tag all your accounts as credit cards or bank accounts, do your entries as normal, and then check off the entries as you reconcile them with your paper statement. Put in your ending and beginning balances over here from your paper statement, and the rest will be done for you. And the goal is to make it a zero difference, and that your cleared balance equals your ending balance at the end. And same thing, keep in mind that for some people have questions, let's say you had a check on the 28th of December that didn't clear until January. Well then you would make that entry in January using the December 28th 
date in the January sheet. As you can see, I'm in January, but I'll make my entry and date it for the 28th when the check or the expense was actually incurred. And then just complete your entry here. And that way, the entry will show up on the proper month with the proper reconciliation. So I should mention here that there is no carryover automatically from December to January. You have to do it manually, but just simply make the entry the month that it shows up on your, your bank statement. Okay, that's really all there's to it. Thanks. For